More stem cells, more regeneration, more repair of the heart, longer survival. Less stem cells, you're in trouble. Do foods stimulate stem cells? And the answer is yes. Meet Dr. William Lee, a world-renowned Harvard-trained medical doctor, researcher, president, and founder of the Angiogenesis Foundation. His work has led to more than 40 FDA-approved therapeutics and devices for cancer, cardiovascular disease, wound healing, and vision loss. He's also a New York Times best-selling author with Eat to Beat Disease, The New Science of How Your Body Can Heal Itself. He also published another book, Eat to Beat Diet, Burn Fat, Heal Your Metabolism, and Live Longer. Stem cells play a crucial role in the human body by serving as the building blocks for various tissues and organs, contributing to regeneration, repair, and maintenance of bodily functions. These versatile cells have the remarkable ability to differentiate into specialized cell types, replenishing damaged tissues, and promoting healing. By harnessing the regenerative potential of stem cells, medical advancements have opened up new possibilities for treating a wide range of conditions, from injuries to degenerative diseases. Dr. Lee emphasizes the importance of supporting stem cell activity through dietary interventions. Certain foods have been identified to enhance stem cell function and promote regeneration within the body. By incorporating these stem cell boosting foods into our diet, we can potentially optimize our regenerative capacity, support longevity, and improve overall health. In today's video, we have extracted Dr. William Lee's teachings over the years and focus on how four beverages in particular work as medicine for our body and regenerate our stem cells so that we live longer. One, red wine. I, you know, I get asked this question all the time. Dr. Lee, what do you think about uh, red wine or, or what about alcohol? That drinking red wine or drinking wine in the blue zones is as being associated with longevity or better health. And there are some clinical studies that also show some of these overall correlations of health benefit as well. Dr. Lee suggests that red wine is beneficial for stem cells, particularly endothelial progenitor cells involved in vascular health, due to the presence of bioactive compounds like resveratrol. Resveratrol is a polyphenol found in red wine that has been shown to have various health benefits, including its effects on stem cells. Resveratrol is known to activate certain pathways in the body, such as the CRT1 pathway, which plays a role in regulating cellular processes like DNA repair, inflammation, and cell survival. By activating these pathways, resveratrol can enhance the function and survival of stem cells, including endothelial progenitor cells. Specifically, Resveratrol has been found to promote the migration of endothelial progenitor cells to sites of blood vessel injury, where they can contribute to repair and regeneration. Resveratrol also supports the formation of new blood vessels, angiogenesis, by stimulating the proliferation and differentiation of endothelial progenitor cells. Also, resveratrol has been shown to increase the production of nitric oxide, a signaling molecule that plays a key role in blood vessel dilation, angiogenesis, and stem cell activation. A study carried out by researchers at the Taipei Veterans General Hospital in Taiwan investigated the effects of consuming red wine, beer, vodka, or water on the health of 80 individuals in their mid-30s over a three-week period. Participants were advised to avoid tea, grape juice, and other alcoholic beverages during the study. Initially, all participants had similar blood pressure, stem cell levels, and physical characteristics. After the three-week trial, the findings indicated that individuals who drank red wine experienced a significant two-fold increase in circulating endothelial progenitor cells, which was not observed in those consuming beer, vodka, or water. Moreover, exposure to red wine or resveratrol enhanced the migration, blood vessel formation, and survival abilities of these stem cells. Red wine drinkers also exhibited a 35% enhancement in blood vessel dilation, reflecting improved vascular health. Additionally, they demonstrated a 50% rise in nitric oxide levels, a vital signal for overall health that supports blood vessel dilation, angiogenesis, and stem cell activation. It is crucial to understand that the benefits of red wine consumption are most effective when limited to one to two glasses per day. Excessive alcohol intake can harm stem cells and hinder their capacity to regenerate organs. What can injure stem cells? You know, um, high doses of alcohol can damage and blunt your stem cells. Therefore, moderation is essential when integrating red wine into one's dietary habits. Another study conducted by researchers in Italy further supports the cardiovascular benefits of red wine consumption, showing a significant reduction in the risk of atherosclerosis. 
This collective evidence underscores the potential of red wine as a part of a balanced and health-conscious lifestyle, emphasizing the importance of mindful consumption for overall well-being. Two, beer. And so, okay, so the question is, is that important? Well, when they measured their blood flow, mm. what they did is they put a blood pressure cuff on them and which, you know, kind of like um, lowers the, uh, the circulation of the blood, then they let it go. They found that the blood flow was much vastly improved. Wow. So here's a functional uh, uh, result that actually means it makes a difference. Beer, a popular beverage made from yeast and hops and containing beneficial polyphenols like xanthahumol, has shown promise in supporting stem cells particularly endothelial progenitor cells crucial for maintaining vascular health. Research indicates that moderate consumption of beer, around one to two drinks per day, is associated with a notable 25% decrease in mortality related to cardiovascular disease, attributed to the presence of these bioactive compounds. A study conducted by researchers at the University of Barcelona in Spain focused on examining the impact of beer on endothelial progenitor cells in a group of 33 men aged 55 to 75 with diabetes and cardiovascular risk factors. The participants were divided into groups that consumed either two regular beers containing alcohol, non-alcoholic beer, or two shots of gin daily over a four-week period. Analysis of blood samples taken before and after the study revealed compelling findings. Men who consumed alcoholic beer experienced an eight-fold increase in circulating endothelial cells while those consuming non-alcoholic beer showed a five-fold increase. This significant rise in endothelial progenitor cells suggests that beer may play a role in enhancing vascular health through its effects on stem cell activity. Also, the study highlighted that beer consumption resulted in elevated levels of stromal cell-derived factor 1, a protein known for its role in recruiting stem cells. This mechanism suggests that beer consumption may not only boost the number of circulating endothelial progenitor cells, but also enhance the recruitment and mobilization of these stem cells, potentially aiding in processes related to vascular repair and regeneration. In contrast to drinking gin, which was found to lower certain important cells in the body and reduce proteins that help recruit stem cells, the research highlights that choosing beer over strong alcoholic drinks like gin or vodka is better for supporting the function of stem cells and keeping blood vessels healthy. This preference for beer is backed by the presence of special plant compounds called polyphenols, like xanthohumol, which are known to boost the activity of stem cells and improve heart health. Moreover, the choice of beer over spirits like gin or vodka for supporting stem cells and heart health can also be explained by how beer is made. During the brewing process, beneficial compounds are released from the yeast and hops used, adding to the health benefits of the drink and potentially improving how our cells work and our heart functions. If you're enjoying this video, Please subscribe and leave a comment as it really supports our channel. Three. Green tea especially has a natural polyphenol that's called catechins, EGCG, epigallocatechin gallate, EGCG. And the catechin is actually just part of the natural substance in the tea leaf. So whether you're brewing tea with a bag or whether it's loose leaf tea or whether it's matcha, which is just powdered tea leaves, the fact of the matter is that into the brew, into the liquid, hot liquid, comes all these phytochemicals, including these catechins. So when you sip straight tea, the catechins go right in. They're easily absorbed um, by your body. And so, you know, your, our blood levels of catechins go way up. So many things that catechins can do. One of the things that's important is that actually it's, it's a relaxant. It actually helps lower your stress. Dr. Lee highly recommends incorporating green tea into your daily routine, especially if you are a smoker, to harness its remarkable ability to activate the body's regenerative system. Smoking cigarettes not only damages the lining of your blood vessels, increasing the likelihood of atherosclerosis and heart disease, but also has a detrimental impact on your stem cells, resulting in a significant reduction in the number of circulating stem cells. In fact, smokers typically exhibit a staggering 60% decrease in stem cell count compared to non-smokers, highlighting the harmful consequences of smoking on the body's regenerative processes. A groundbreaking study conducted by esteemed researchers from Chonam National University Hospital in Korea and Nagoya University Graduate School of Medicine in Japan delved into the effects of green tea consumption on the stem cells of smokers. The study involved 20 young men in their late 20s who had been smoking for six years and were provided with four cups of green tea daily for a duration of two weeks, totaling 56 cups. 
Blood samples taken at the study's commencement and conclusion revealed a remarkable 43% increase in circulating stem cells following the two-week green tea intervention. Furthermore, the study unveiled that green tea not only bolstered the overall health of the smoker's blood vessels during the study period, but also significantly enhanced their vascular dilation response by an impressive 29%. This means that green tea helped improve the flexibility and function of the blood vessels, allowing for better blood flow and reducing the risk of cardiovascular issues. In laboratory experiments, researchers have uncovered the regenerative potential of green tea and its catechins in stimulating the repair and rejuvenation of various body tissues, including the brain, muscles, bones, and nerves, while also aiding in wound healing. Catechins, a type of antioxidant found abundantly in green tea, play a crucial role in reducing oxidative stress and inflammation, both of which are detrimental to stem cell health and overall cellular function. These findings underscore the myriad benefits of green tea for promoting the body's regenerative system, making it a valuable addition to your daily health regimen, particularly if you are a smoker looking to support your stem cell function and overall well-being. By incorporating green tea into your routine, you can help mitigate some of the damaging effects of smoking and enhance your body's natural repair mechanisms, leading to improved health and longevity. Additionally, green tea is known for its numerous other health benefits. It can boost metabolism, aid in weight management, and improve mental alertness. The polyphenols in green tea have been linked to reduced risks of certain types of cancers and have been shown to support liver health. For smokers, these added benefits can provide a comprehensive approach to improving health beyond just stem cell regeneration. Incorporating green tea into your diet is simple and can be done in various ways. You can enjoy it hot or cold, or even add it to smoothies and recipes. The key is consistency and making it a regular part of your daily routine to reap the maximum benefits. If you're looking for an easy, effective way to enhance your health, particularly if you're a smoker, green tea is a powerful natural option that supports your body's regenerative capabilities and overall wellness. 4. Black Tea Green tea will increase your stem cells, but guess what? So can black tea. You know, people in Asia drink a lot of tea. People in Britain drink a lot of tea as well. Yeah. We used to say green tea is good, black tea is fermented, so it's not going to be that good for you. We're changing our minds. We have to keep our minds open. Huh. Black tea can also double the number of stem cells. And Initially underestimated for its health benefits due to its fermentation process and lower polyphenol content compared to green tea, black tea has been discovered by researchers at the University of L'Aquila in Italy to have the remarkable ability to activate stem cells. This revelation is significant, considering the vital role stem cells play in the body's repair and regeneration processes. In a detailed study, 19 participants in their 50s with mild to moderate hypertension, who were not yet on any medication, were selected. These individuals, free from other illnesses and medications, were instructed to drink a cup of black tea or a placebo beverage twice a day for a week without adding milk, sugar, or any other additives. The purpose was to isolate the effects of black tea itself on stem cell activity and vascular health. The researchers focused on measuring the number of circulating endothelial progenitor cells, EPCs, in the participants' blood. EPCs are a type of stem cell essential for the repair and maintenance of blood vessels. After just one week of black tea consumption, there was a striking 56% increase in these circulating stem cells. This significant boost suggests that black tea can enhance the body's natural regenerative capabilities, particularly for the vascular system. Furthermore, the study found that the participants' overall vascular health improved. This improvement was evident through better blood vessel dilation, indicating that black tea helps maintain flexible and healthy blood vessels. Improved dilation means better blood flow and reduced strain on the heart, which is particularly beneficial for individuals with hypertension. To further explore the protective effects of black tea, the researchers conducted an additional test involving the consumption of high-fat whipped cream known to negatively impact blood flow. When the participants consumed the whipped cream, there was a rapid 15% reduction in vessel dilation within two hours, indicating impaired blood flow. However, when the participants drank black tea after consuming the whipped cream, their blood flow was remarkably protected. The black tea prevented the usual decline in vessel dilation, showcasing its ability to safeguard vascular function even in the presence of dietary fat. Dr. Lee mentions the vascular protective properties of black tea, emphasizing its role in maintaining healthy blood flow and vascular function. 
For individuals with hypertension, this is particularly crucial as it can help mitigate the risks associated with poor blood vessel health. Moreover, the increase in circulating endothelial progenitor cells points to black T's potential in promoting stem cell regeneration, offering a natural and accessible way to support the body's regenerative processes. Incorporating black tea into your daily routine could be a simple yet powerful step towards better health. Whether you are dealing with hypertension or simply looking to support your body's natural repair mechanisms, black tea offers a host of benefits. Its ability to enhance stem cell activity and protect vascular health makes it a valuable addition to any health-conscious diet. So consider making black tea a regular part of your routine and experience the regenerative benefits it has to offer.